What is up, peeps? This is Following TCG, and let's welcome you back to another YouTube video. And before we do start, I know the lighting is gone again. I know it's a bit inconsistent right now, but I've had a very weird issue with my phone where I can't touch the screen. It just tap it, nothing happens, so I can't turn the torch on, unfortunately, and therefore no lighting. So uh, we are just going to have to uh, move on. The show goes on, as we say, or as they say. Who, sa who actually says that? Anyway, point being, lighting is not the best, but as I said, we'll just keep going. Um, but we are playing Incineroar. GX. Oh, yeah, this bad boy. This is a pretty damn fun deck. It's been requested by a few of you guys, and uh, Giraffe Nick Mark even provided a list on my Discord server. If you want to check it out, by the way, in the description, if you want to join the Discord. Um, but yeah, so he's uh, suggested that, and I saw this list and thought, hey, it's kind of dope. Um, he's gone for a more Ninetales line included in this deck, but I thought, let's just go raw in cinema. Let's just go in and see what we can do. So let's join the game. And see how well we can do. Um, this deck is pretty good. This, sorry, this list is pretty good at setting up, um, of course, which uh, is great for stage two. Um, usually, our rare candies are bo the consistency of achieving our rare candies or obtaining them, should I say, are through the Jirachi. So, hopefully, we start a Jirachi here so we can uh, set up the bench and then just fish for all the cards we need with the Jirachis for these couple of turns to set up and get things going. Um, and the great thing about Incineroar is you don't need to worry too much about energy because it accelerates. To itself right so pretty good so um it's a pretty self-sustaining deck um it does miss out on some numbers unfortunately which is a bit of a shame but that's just the way this deck is um i have included a devoured field um and i'm, I'm considering including more for the sake of coming up against shrine um but i've not come to it yet because this deck is quite tight so is this lost mark no it's not it's got lost blender from the mountain this might be raiku which would be really cool um, it'd be really cool to see a Raikou deck, actually, which I do want to revisit with the, the new stuff. So, yeah, I want to see how Raikou works right now in this current format. Um, or was it Blitzel? Oh, okay, maybe it's a Blitzel deck. I'm not too sure. How about you stop asking the questions and start playing the game? Yes, 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 I know. <laughs> um, let's go for an Elm's Lecture and just get the board out. Uh, let's just put on. There we go. And just get everything out. I am only going to bench two. I want to keep that little in hand for an Ultra Ball or something. I want to keep those two bench spaces for like a Lele and Jirachi. So that's my thought process for now. Speaking of Jirachi, here we go. We are going to attach an energy here. Now I... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that because although Incineroar could accelerate to itself, you can't complain with having... Uh, oh, yeah, actually this could work. I'm going to Ultra Ball now for another Jirachi. Get rid of the energy and the Litten. So there we go. Um... Yeah, I mean, you can't complain about having a fully charged up Incineroar without needing to use its acceleration ability, right? No, no problem there. Okay, so let's get that on the field, and we're just going to pass, which is good. So hopefully they bench a lot of Pokemon, because we have a Erika's Hospitality as our next draw support. So hopefully they just, like, go full on the board, which would be uh, only beneficial to us. So, um, while they're setting up their board um, and figuring out what this deck is... Um, have you guys seen the Detective Pikachu? I made a quick post about it, which, by the way, it's so fun being able to make posts now. Um, so awesome actually seeing you guys interact. So I do love that, by the way. And thank you for those that interact with those posts. Um, but have you seen the new Detective Pikachu? Oh, the trailer is crazy. Um, or the new Detective Pikachu trailer, should I say, because it's already been announced. I knew. Okay, uh, before I get into it, let's, let's, let's do this. We're gonna Lily. And, I mean, sure. I'm not gonna complain there. Uh, we could Jirachi, hopefully get something even better, like a retreat. A retreat would be really good here. Uh, okay, that's not really that great. I think getting a Pokecon would be good, or would a red candy be good? Let's get a red candy. Um, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not actually going to use the ability here because we can't even retreat this turn, so I'm going to do that. Anyway, Detective Pikachu. Oh my god, I am excited. I'm so excited seeing... Okay, spoilers for the trailer. Five... Four, three, two, one. I almost forgot to count there. Mewtwo! What? I saw Mewtwo come in at the end, obviously, of the trailer, and I was so super pumped. I mean, there's some Pokemon out there that, that are like, what? <laughs> I saw Ludicolo, and I was like, what? That's Ludicolo? But, I mean, it does make sense if you look at the Pokemon and look at the real-life version. You can kind of put two or two together. But I was like, huh? Um, and there was, like, some things out there as well that I thought was a bit shaky. Some of the CGI is a bit off. In my opinion, um, whilst I play this turn, let me play this turn. Got to stick to the gameplay, can't we? Even though we're like mixing the commentary constantly. <laughs> um, 
We're going to Guzma up that Blitzel and take it out. We're just going to go in aggressive, which this deck is really good at. So I'm really happy with that. Let's go take it out. Uh, and then swap bang. That's it. Right. Yeah. So, oh, seeing Mewtwo come out was so epic. And it actually looked pretty good. It looked like Mewtwo. Like, actually looked like Mewtwo if it was real life. So, really, really pumped now because Mewtwo's in there. If, if none of you guys know, Mewtwo is literally my favorite Pokemon ever. So, seeing that in there. Got me so hyped. And it actually, it's not only just because of the Pokemon that I'm looking forward to it. I mean, the story looks somewhat decent. It looks like it's a bit different to what you'd get in a normal Pokemon film. Obviously, that doesn't say much because most of the Pokemon films are just anime films that aren't really that great. They all have a very similar strategy, right? Big legendary Pokemon comes in. Oh no, there's trouble. Friendship, win. That's usually what it is, right? I could be completely overgeneralizing the Pokemon films there, right? But that's usually what it is. From my experience, just going to say that safely. Um, oh, this is kind of a... But no, it's not. I was going to say this is a bad thing to do, discarding the recycler. But I'm confident. I mean, we, we are miles ahead right now, so I don't mind. Uh, let's get another Incineroar out. This is just... This is just automatically existing now, which is like, yep, yeah, deck's automatically here. The good thing is we don't even need to charge that up now. Ah, uh, yes, we could go for Erica for two. Why not? And just going for the KO. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I, it genuinely looks like it could be a decent plot, um, which is good. And Ryan Reynolds is always a good sign. <laughs> so, yeah, looking at the second trailer, looks pretty good. It's I'm, I'm just super excited for it. I'm super excited for it. Got a little story, actually, behind that, by the way. I made a little tweet about it. I don't know if you did see it or not. But last year... Oh, victory! All right, let's get into another game. Um, last year, uh, my sister's boyfriend who works on film sets, um, gifted me a poster, which was a Pokemon poster. And it was a Pokemon poster for like a match with Gengar and something. It was like this brown poster. And he was like, oh, it's for a Pokemon film. And at the time I was like, oh, it's probably just a fan made film or nothing crazy. And then Peak Detective Pikachu gets announced. I'm looking at these trailers, seeing posters up of like versus matches being advertised. And I'm like, oh my God. He actually gave me, potentially gave me, should I say, because I haven't seen that in the film yet, but he's potentially given me a genuine prop from Detective Pikachu. And I lost it. <laughs> Trust me to do that. I have, I've lost it. I have to just try and look for it, see if I can find it. But if I've lost it, I'm going to be super gutted if it is actually a prop. And I'm, I'm going to be so gutted. Because having if, this is a big if, obviously, but if... That was a genuine prop from the first ever Pokemon live action film. That's a piece of history for me. So I'm going to be absolutely gutted. But at the same time, still grateful that he would even give me that. Um, and uh, that I was able to have it posted up on my wall. Because I did have it on my wall for quite a, quite a while, actually. I had it as like a little, as, as an actual poster, right? Because I put it up and I was like, hey, that looks kind of cool. Um, in my old house. So I did, I did treat it with care. I just must have misplaced it and moving out. So that must have been what happened. But um, that's, yeah, that's a little bit of a story to you. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's not, so I don't feel so gutted. Uh, but, oh my God, to think that I could actually have a genuine prop from the film, even if it's something as small as a poster, was so exciting. I was like, whoa. Okay, all right, let's 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 get this game going. Um, Elm's Lecture, good. So you can tell here, this, this deck's pretty good at hitting the Elm Lecture, which is great. Um, and I do like that, but we're up against the Charizard. Oh no, Charizard, no. That's bad. Although the great thing is, is Charizard kind of sets itself to 130 HP, which is the number we're hitting. So, can't, uh, me can't complain. Uh, right, so getting something like a rare candy in our hand right now would be kind of bad. But, but I kind of like it because we could pull a, a Pokecon from a Jirachi and then just find a... a um, Incineroar. I, always, I thought of Darkrai for some reason. I think I played a Darkrai deck earlier and it's just... <laughs> it went into my brain like that. Um, yeah, find an Incineroar and get going and get in early. And this one is kind of a tough matchup. <clears throat> kind of a tough matchup because Charizard can hit some crazy numbers. Now, I know th there was a Charizard list in the Collinsville Regional. I'm not too sure. Um, I know I just said there was and I'm not too sure. But I'm, I'm thinking there was one, but I don't think it was anywhere. Was, was there a Charizard list in the top 32? Was it in the top 64? I'm not too sure. Um, I know there's the Viplume list that people are talking about, and there was obviously a Picaron and stuff, and the Persephalon, I think, in the top four. And, um, I mean, it's kind of a crazy tournament. There was a lot of people that are actually genuinely fully engaged in the Pokemon community, or figures in the Pokemon community, actually getting pretty far. Tablemon got top four, and Riley Holbert, who's a part of, uh, well, I say part of, but he features a lot on Mahone's Tricky Gym, which is a channel that got me into Pokemon, so I have a lot of praise for them. Um, 
they he made top four as well as vile plume list so it's pretty cool seeing people that i follow in the community starting to like break into the regionals top fours and stuff it's so cool um and i'm, I'm really um it really does feel awesome to see people like that starting to to make it through all right no pokecom unfortunately so we are gonna have to just no. we are just going to have to cynthia which means we're gonna have to get rid of our rare candy i mean we can't really thin our hand down to the point of play well we can thin our hand down but it means benching the litten should we do it anyway? Should we really just... Because I want to play the Erica's Hospitality because that's like a really good odd of getting our Incineroars out. Or should we play the safe game and go for a Cynthia? I think we play the safe game and go for a Cynthia. I think that's the safe play. Because at least we're not filling our bench. There we go. Safe play. Good stuff. Good stuff. And um, we are going to evolve here and just hope they haven't got some crazy Guzman play KO, right? That's just like, that's that's the hope right now. And we have a Lele for Guzman next turn. So that's good. And we can take this thing out if it charges itself up. So fingers crossed they haven't got some crazy Guzman play for a KO. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. Um, although I don't think it's... It is possible for them to get a KO because they need an energy attachment and a choice band. And then they can obviously use their ability. Um, so energy attachment, choice band, and Guzman. That's a free card combo they need to hit to be able to KO this thing. Are they going to do it this turn? I hope to God they don't because I want to KO that thing right now. Um... Especially if it charges itself up. Okay, no, it's just going to go for the Insta KO. Which, in that sense, I'm actually going to go for my GX attack on it. Um, now, I know that's a bit silly because it'd be better off to use our GX attack on the Lele, for example. But their board state's quite weak. So, taking out this Charizard could be super critical. So, I think that's just what we're going to do. Um, and that's where we're at. So, we're going to bench the Lele here. Um, the reason I didn't promote the Jirachi, obviously, was because I'm confident in dropping the Lele to get a bit of consistency right now. Rather than benching the... I'm even going to get Erika. We actually get more cards out of our deck. So we thin better with Erika. So let's get an Erika. Um, what was I saying about... Yeah, more confident in just playing the Lele for sake of consistency over anything else. Uh, we could Pokecom here for something. But no, we'll just keep, we keep the Pokecom in our hand. I think this is all pretty good. Um, we have to kind of charge up to ourselves. Or we have to set up... Set, set up... Set up our own GX attack. So this is what we're going to do. We want to KO it and we're going to. So we're going to Scar Charge, but we're just not going to attach energy. So we're just going to do that to just put the damage counters on ourselves and uh, Darkest Tornado for the KO. Sweet stuff. There we go. Beautiful. The good thing is, is we still can one hit KO the Lele. We just need a Choice Band to do that. And we do play Choice Band. Unlike that Kabutops episode where I forgot to play Choice Band and that would have bought me the game. <laughs> In this one, I remember to play choice band. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, you should. I mean, I think I was literally a choice band from winning. And I just didn't play the choice band. It's quite uh, crazy. Did you see this new animation, by the way, for the energy recycler? When you play it, it like goes blitz. It blitz all the, all the energy in. There was a, a bug fix update recently that they seem to have uh, gone with. Okay, so there's some things we can do here. We can play the Guzma. And we can actually get our other Incineroar out. But there's no choice band. So we can't KO this thing, let's say. Or we, we Guzma, get an Incineroar out and take up the Charmander to shut down the deck itself. I think that's the smart play. The Greedy plays the Lele, but the smart play is the Charmander. So let's, let's do that. So we're going to Ultra Ball a Litten away and a Energy. Yeah, and then we'll get ourselves our Incineroar and go in for the Charmander. So this is good. This is what I love about Incineroar. You don't even need the energy. It's just Guzma. That's fine. We've already got the energy in our deck, ready to go. Hua Pao, 140 damage. Um, so the Vibrant Field in itself is quite relevant because it allows you to one-hit KO Tapu Lele. And if you really want to go crazy, you can add a Kukui. So Devour Field Kukui equals uh, 190. Choice Band. 220, right? So I guess a Kukui would be a good shout when it just as a one-off tech because you can one-hit KO some, uh, like a Zorok if, if you do really get everything out. So there's there's potential damage, I say. Coming to think of it, playing more Devoured Fields than a Kukui seems like a good idea. I'm just going to say that now whilst playing this list uh, when coming up against the more meta lists. But um, yeah, there we go. So we do have another Guzma play and that Lele is now in territory. <laughs> they got to quit. they got to quit. Um, I'm not going to make the changes. I'm just going to roll one more game. I do want to get one more in there. As I said, um, I want to keep this deck as equally represented as possible. So let's roll one more game. We've been like trampling through these decks right now. So we've taken out Charizard. I forgot the first deck we played, but we took that one down pretty well. Was it like a Blitzel deck, I believe? 
So we managed to take that one down, which is dope. So let's see what we're up against now that we are on a little win streak. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, it's definitely a lightning deck, which is always quite scary. But lightning is like the most popular thing now. I'm so glad. Oh, Lele Star. Oof. I'm so glad I haven't found any Gyarados decks. Because I've been coming up against that deck so many times. It's just gotten to the point where I'm just like, this is so frustrating. It's like, it just, it just does everything and just KOs, 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 KOs. I mean, it's a good deck. But it's just like, it's like when you come up against Gramble, you're like, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> you're like, oh, okay, here we go. Um, all right, this is okay. I think I'm okay with this. We're just going to get a Jirachi out. Getting only one Littered in play feels horrible. So I think we might have to go for a Cynthia here. But I want to get the Jirachi first and see if we get like a something we can play off this. Like a, an Ultra Ball. An Ultra Ball could be good. But I don't want to discard any of these. Every single card here is a, good, is a valuable resource. So I think we're just going to just take a card and go for Cynthia. We just need to get a bench board. I mean, he's got, sorry, he's got a board set up. Even though we have an Incineroar pretty much ready to go here. Well, I'm coming to think of it. It might be better off to hold this hand because we have the Incineroar. Um, looking at my opponent's deck, this is probably a Raichu deck. No, it is a Raichu deck. <laughs> so the odds of us getting an attack on us next turn are quite slim. So I actually kind of want to hold this hand. I don't think they're going to KO this Litten. I really doubt it. So let's, let's, let's risk it for a Biscuit. Risk it for a biscuit. Someone mentioned, actually, when I said risk it for a biscuit, if I took that off PTCG Radio, I had no idea he even said that. <laughs> I got it from, when I said it, I, I, used to, I, I used to listen to Tiny Temper, which is a UK rap artist when I was younger. Um, and he, he, he said a lyric, which is like, risk it for a chocolate biscuit or something like that. And that's where I got it from. But it is quite a common phrase, though, to be fair. Um, and it's quite funny knowing that PTCG Radio um, says it himself. <laughs> um, if that is the case, that is. Um, oh, wish for baton. They're also quite useful tools being played by a lot of decks recently. Maybe Field Blow would be a good shout as well. So many things that could be thrown into this deck, but this deck is so tight. It is insane. It is really, really tight. All right, we're going to Cynthia to get cards and then Jirachi because it increases the odds of getting valuable cards. Oh, we could like double Jirachi here if we find a Nest Ball. That would be fun, wouldn't it? No, we don't, but that's fine. We can uh, find a, find a Co Poke Comp. Oh, we'll take the Red Candy over instead. Um... That's pretty good. We actually can just... Well, we don't need to switch. So I don't mind getting rid of a switch and a... Ooh. The Guzma's just as valuable here. I'm going to get rid of the double switch. This this is weird because switch is really good for Jirachi. But I think we're set up well. And we need to focus on setting up more. Guzma's great for taking out a Lele further on down the line. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. How many quits can we have? This is PTCGO for you, unfortunately. It's just quick, 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 quick. Um, one thing I would love to do on this channel, like for real, I don't think I'm anywhere near it yet, unfortunately. Um, I just not got the people around me to do it. I haven't got the equipment either, but I'd love to do tabletop gameplay. Like tabletop gameplay would be so fun. Um, and you don't get things like this where it's just, you join a game, you're about to go and then they quit. <laughs> um, so I'd love to do some tabletop gameplay. Uh, I mean, playing the car game the way it was originally meant to be played is always so fun and i love doing tabletop it was always so fun when playing that so i want to try and get into that um so I'll, I'll look to do that also i know that again i believe i mentioned in a previous video but i could be wrong but i know there was a recommendation for me to open a po box so i will look into that as well but i got so much stuff happening um it's quite hard to keep track of things um oh god boder that's a bit on uh, that's a bit bad for our decks we're quite item reliant um is it just a garbage deck are we playing some wacky wacky shrine deck, which would also be also be pretty fun to see. All right, let's just just do this nice auto play here. Get the energy Jirachi for none of these cards are good, except the rare candy because we can evolve. <laughs> like none of these cards are good except the one we literally need. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna hold that for turn. Here we go. So yeah, this is Jirachi doing exactly what I wanted it to do. You know, coming out. Get grabbing a rare candy when we need it. So next time we have instant setup. So we have a turn two Incineroar. That's a turn two attack from Incineroar. So if they don't bench anything, we have the potential to... No, they're going to bench something. There we go. I always speak ahead of myself. And I mentioned in a video before, that's a kind of kind of a dope promo. I know it's been a, out for a while, but I like it. But yeah, I know I said in a, in one of my comment sections before... Oh, Grimer. Yeah, that I said in one of my comment sections before that... Um, <laughs> or yesterday I said it. So I think I'm playing a bit too fast for my own brain. Like, I just play cards and i don't think about what i'm doing i just play it so automatically so i think i should take a bit more time to 
breathe, think, and, you know, go through with it. Oh, the switch. That would have been exactly what we needed. Um, okay. I mean, we, we do have the... What? Why, 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 why the shock face? That's, that's scaring me, buddy. Don't scare me like that. We're going to take the Cynthia. For, for, for certain. Oh, for absolute the certain. Okay, let's do that. We're going to red candy into this one. Um, and then charge up this Litten. Considering we want to attack this turn. So let's smack the Grimer. Off we go. Okay, so two items in a discard pile. Looking kind of rough for Garbodor. But that's fine. Here we go. Smack into this thing. Early aggression. Just taking things out. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. There we go. Um, I'm trying to think ahead now what they can do. So they can do a maximum of 40 plus the choice ban of 70 minus the 20. They can do 50 damage now with a Garbodor. And we can just one hit KO it. So that's pretty dope. Gladion. Oh, I'm quite intrigued as to what this deck actually is now. Like what's what's going on here? <laughs> What is happening? Is it just a all in all? Like, I was thinking of this like it's just a toolbox deck where it's just a bunch of rogue cards. Like, you know, so let's say Weavile, Grimar, and then there's the Retaliate, and then there's the, the Retaliate Umbreon, and then there's the, the Garbador, and then, you know, because it's playing wacky energy counts, sorry, wacky energies being that it's got like a darkness and psychic in the deck, which is a bit weird. It's all over the place. Um, let's go for a Cynthia. I was going to Lele for a Erica because we have the Red Candy in hand, but let's just, let's just, yeah, maybe we should have. Okay, we're going to Pokecom for a Tora Cat. Come here, buddy. I kind of like Tora Cat a lot. I think it looks pretty dope. Like, wouldn't you want a cat like that? It looks dope. Um, and let's attach an energy. And that way we don't have to do the crazy charge up. Sweet. Let's go for the Crushing Punch. Take that out. So, hopefully they don't bench any other Travishes and they just have the one Garbodor. But, that's kind of saying a lot, really, isn't it? Um, but yeah, you've probably noticed in my videos, like yesterday's video, even like the one before, coming up against some really strange decks recently for just no apparent reason. I, I guess my elo is just low. Um, but, uh, I think we, we came up against, did we come up against a Zorak deck the other day? Which doesn't make any sense, because that's usually a high elo. Another quit! Oh my gosh! I don't know how long I can keep going, guys. I don't know how long I can keep doing this. I really don't. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Full win streak with Incineroar. Getting so much luck. So much love. Let's go for one more. We're going to go for one more. If this is a quit, of course, I'm going to have to uh, leave it there. But um, if it's not, hopefully we can get a good entertaining game out of this. Let's see what's going on. Quite a lot there on their deck. Some fighting, psychic. Maybe it's like a weird Marshadow deck. That'd be fun. That'd be really fun. If you realize with me, when I come up against decks and I try to guess what the deck is, I always guess some crazy deck rather than a deck that, it, you know, like a more probable deck. So if I see Darkness and Fighting, I'm like, oh my god, it's like Marsh Shadow and Dark Cry when it's just Zorok. <laughs> That's just kind of the way my brain works a little bit. Um, right. Oh no, don't. Please. Please, no. Why have you got Fighting type in here? Don't be it. Don't trick me. Why are you going to play Psychic Box? What? Don't be, don't be Gyarados. Don't be Gyarados. Don't be Gyarados. Please, I'm begging you, don't be Gyarados. I've played it so many times. Oh. Please. It's Gyarados, isn't it? It's Gyarados. I really don't want it to be, man. I've played it so many times. It's just... Is it, is it just me that's playing it a lot? Or are you guys playing it a lot? I don't know if Gyarados is, the, is like just the new deck that everyone is playing on PTCGO for just insta wins. It's not! Yes! Okay, it's uh, Quagsire Naganado. Quagsire and Aganado. What's the fighting type for, though? I wonder what the fighting type is. Maybe it's a it's a tech of Onyx or something. You never know, right? I mean, it works. One hit kills is Zorox, so. All right, this is kind of jazzy. Uh, although our hand is absolutely abysmal. Hopefully we find a Elm's Lecture off of the Jirachi. I want a Stellar Wish. But uh, I want to know what this uh, deck's main attacker is. This is where it gets exciting. It's really exciting. Maybe it's Lapras. Oh, that'd be fun. Um, okay, Linden. Sweet. One would call that lit. Okay, I've got to stop these terrible puns. Um, let's get a... Let's get a Ultra Ball and get a Lele and just bench. We got a bench press, boy. 
Uh, do we keep the choice band? Could it be relevant? It could be. So let's 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 keep the uh, keep that in play. All right, Lele, Elms Lake Charge. Just get a bunch of Littons out so we know there's no problem with it getting potentially get yeah, KO'd next turn. And um, we're just unfortunately going to have to either Jirachi or top deck our way out of this weird hand. Although the hand is good because we've got an instant Incineroar ready to go again. Just turn to Incineroar, ready to go, um, which is kind of dope. So here we go. Let's bench these Littons here, get these out, and uh, pow, pass. Right, do not take out my Jirachi, please. Or if they do, we have... Well, I guess if they take out the Jirachi, we at least just get to immediately promote an Incineroar and KO it. How about don't drop a Marshadow? That's been seeing a lot of play, hasn't it? Um, I still want to find out. I'm still genuinely curious as to what that fighting Pokemon is. Oh, are they, are they, are they, are they dead drawing, huh? Are they dead drawing? Oh, Shrine, God damn it! Um, they are dead drawing, aren't they? Hey, hey, they're dead drawing. Okay, come on, top deck. Ah, okay, Jirachi, give me something good. I will take the switch. I will take the switch any day. That's fine. Ah, good stuff. Good stuff. Jirachi just coming in clutch here. Absolutely loving it. All right, we'll go for the switch. We'll attach the energy to another um, Litten. And then we'll just go and whack it for the KO. Another quit. Ha ha. Five wins in a row. I believe four of them, or at least three of them, were all just them scooping up because uh, we were just getting ahead so far. So this deck sets up like crazy. And my god does it. My god is it fast. It's very fast. It's a very fast deck. Very, very rapid. Similar concept to Charizard. And Charizard is also a very rapid deck. But um, it is so simple, though. It's just Incineroar, Jirachi, Lele. That's it. You could mess around with it, but I kind of like these numbers. 11 energy is a bit awkward, so you could drop it down to 10. But I think the, I just think the extra energy helps. Um, but you could drop it down to 10, add another Devoured Field, um, as I said, to just help with the damages there. Um, and you can go for Field Blur if you want to. But I like these counts here, um, and I'm kind of satisfied with it. And it is playing the minimum Draw support a line of eight, which is of course uh, this. This is you'll probably see this on all my decks. It's like four Cynthia, two Erica's, two Liddies. I think that's just the best sweet um, way uh, or setup when it comes to playing uh, draw supporters currently in the meta. So, uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts down below, of course, and do leave a like if you did enjoy. And on top of that, do subscribe for more. But uh, up until tomorrow, please do take care and peace.